Do you expect your muscles to grow bigger and bigger by shoveling high protein into your body? But what if eating more protein isn't just unnecessary? Today, I will show you the new research that challenges everything we thought we knew and reveal two things that actually build more muscle than protein. When you lift weights, you trigger muscle protein synthesis, a molecular message to muscle that says, build. Back in the golden era, it wasn't uncommon for bodybuilders to eat 300 grams of protein per day, dozen eggs in sitting. Fast forward to today, and you still find listers chasing 200 grams of protein or following one gram per pound of body weight rule like it's gospel. Recently, researchers got together and gathered every long-term growth study they could find. 62 in total were participants who lifted weights but eat different amounts of protein. In one study, participants eat low protein, 0.45 grams per pound of body weight. For someone who is a 180 pound, it's just 80 grams of protein per day, basically two chicken breast. Now what happens if you take similar group of lifters, but feed them double that? Four chicken breasts per day, that should double the gains, right? Surprisingly, the growth was pretty much identical. If you are building a house and you have more bricks, doesn't mean you ended up building a bigger house. A pro bodybuilder named Alex not just cut his protein intake in half, but to stop eating meat, fish, and eggs, getting all of his protein from plant-based sources. He was eating 200 grams per day, now he is eating as low as 90 grams per day. And all of these protein came from plant-based sources, and he noticed nothing. Recovery is same. Progressive overload is same. He also documented it. He tried 220 gram protein, including single digit body fat, comparing to 120 grams, which is 100 grams less than 220. He is just as strong he had ever been. People should focus more on their health instead of just one sole macronutrient. So putting all these studies together, the most important drivers of growth became quite obvious. First, hard training. Second, enough calories to fuel your training. Third, protein as a support. It doesn't mean that protein is overhyped so it's useless. You just have to take it in the correct amount, which also saves you from breaking your bank account.